I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. Yes, Aaron is back again. Slightly different video this time. Aaron's been kind enough to buy me some presents from TK Maxx. Yes. We're going to unbox those, smell them together on this video. So to see our reactions, stay tuned to FM. Aaron has visited me today and he's come bearing gifts. So um, pass them over. Let's have yes. the gifts. So you've been shopping at TK Maxx? I think you're a classy man, so you deserve Oh yeah. Fast. Classy fragrances. Yes. All right, did you enjoy shopping for these? Uh, so I don't really know what I picked. I, the rules were that it had to be between 20 and 30 pounds. Okay. And it had to sort of be something I don't really know quite it was sort of like a it was mainly the price between 20 and 30 pounds mm. and um, in a box so kind of cheapies um, now as we all know at TK Maxx or what is it in the States is it TM Max is some, it? Some, yeah I can't remember the, the, but you know same same kind of deal sometimes you can find gems sometimes you can find um, you know you may have picked a Amazing. discontinued oh gem God. that I've been looking for all my life and I, I don't know what's in this bag um, probably not but um, you know it could be it could be a great fragrance that is nicely discounted who knows so we're gonna dive into the bag um, Let's just go straight in for it. Um, oh, I need to get my scissors for opening them because uh, Aaron very thoughtfully left them in the uh, very expensive looking TK Maxx packaging, which we've got to break into here. Uh, okay, so the first one, oh, it's a Calvin Klein. Okay. Obsession Night yeah. for men. Um, uh, have you smelt this one before or not? Is this a new oh, one Oh, so, you? okay. I've not smelt this. There, there is a night. story behind obsession. Okay, right. so years and years and years ago, I, I yes. <laughs> I've always obviously loved fragrance, and there was a point when I was doing training and stuff where I, all my money I never bought fragrance. Right. And there was a friend who had lots of money, and he used to wear obsession. So I haven't mm. smelt this since I was 18. So I'm 45. What is that like? About 30. So, let me do the maths. It's a good few years. Yes. Yeah. So I, th this I bought because I'm really excited because right. I associated the original with um, somebody with lots of money. Okay. Obsession night for men. You know, a lot of the time, Calvin Klein makes some nice, yeah. mass appealing fragrances. I know you weren't a fan of CK Shock from our cheapest video. But this might so, be amazing. I want it yeah. to be amazing. I want I, to be amazed. Yeah, I, I wore, I re I've got nice memories of CK One, actually. Do you that have was, never smell that? Yeah, it's, uh, whenever I smell that, I think it's a very simple, mass appealing okay. fragrance, but um, I've got nice memories because it was okay. one of the first fragrances. I'm very excited. excited. Okay, I'm Obsession I'm Night for Men, yes. rated by Fragmental and Aaron Terrence Hughes. Here we go. I'll, I'll, I'll do two cards, okay. but uh, you, you take that one first. Just smell them together. Doesn't matter who talks first. We'll just you know, do it organically and see what happens. Do you think it's a night fragrance? Not necessarily. No, I not think really. it has darker nuances. There's maybe some kind of like ambery. There's amber in it. Accord. And it's a bit almondy. So yeah. there's an almond, which would be a benzyl alcohol. Yeah. Gives that almondy, fruity mm -hmm. feel. Cinnamon alcohol, cinnamon alcohol makes things smell pear-like. So it's yeah. a pear fruity top lift to it. Yes, it's got, so it's got um. I don't associate with this night. So I don't, I don't know the note, we don't know the notes of these particularly. So what, you know, we might say, you know, things that aren't in them or not listed anyway, but I quite like the bottle actually. I, I that's no, a pretty I, yes, I love blue. Swish bottle. Is the yes, I quite like the blue. Yeah. Yes, I think it's nice. That is a that is a cool bottle. So there is a fruity note to this. Is it uh I think I'm getting um like a Shall I tell you what's on the bottle? <sighs> yes. Like Ambroxan. Thing. Lots of Ambroxan. Lots of Ambroxan. Yeah. And there's actually something which um, it's called, it begins with C, it's, it's called a, like a cashmere wood. There's something smooth in here, whether it's sandalwood cashmere or wood. is it the cashmere that's yeah. smoothing it's it? Cashmere, is it sandalwood as well? It's yeah. cashmere wood mixed with some aroma chemicals that smell of sandalwood called yeah. sandal mysore. So ah, it's sandal mysore okay. mixed yeah. with the cashmere woods mixed So with sandal mysore is, is uh, sandalwood from India. Which is obviously a, 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 it's a natural material, but it's a natural, synthetic. This is a cheap right. synthetic. Right sandalwood 
And what's the fruit in, in here? Can you get it's that? The, it's like yes, it is. It's the pear. It's the cinnamon right. alcohol. So you've got cinnamon alcohol. Yeah. When you use cinnamon alcohol, cinnamon alcohol in woods pushes things towards a wood feel. When yeah. you put it in like fruit, it pushes it towards a pear fruity feel. And this is more oh. towards a pear fruity feel. And, and the oh. musk is a fruity musk. So this is a fruity... Musky. So there's no specific fruit note, but it's the materials combined that are causing this fruity accord. Yes. Very interesting. And then the musk, there's a musk in yeah. there, which is giving a round, soft yeah. feel to it. So there's a roundness yeah. to it. But personally, it's not dark enough. I No, at all. it's not. It's not a dark, it's not only a night fragrance, is it? It's a... It could be worn any time, versatile, any time of year. Sim simple, but quite nice. I, I, it doesn't grate on me. It's not obnoxious at all. Um, relatively smooth. It does smell, you know, that smell you do associate with cheaper designer fragrances, yeah. but not, you know, sometimes that can be done in a palatable way. It's okay. I quite like it. It's not, I would wear it, but it's not really exciting me. Would you? Oh yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's not, it's not, um, it's not disgusting, is it? No, it's not. So it's not so, disgusting. So, I mean, I would wear it because I wouldn't feel embarrassed to wear it. As well. No, not no. at all. So, how much was it? But I wouldn't feel... 20 oh, quid? So this was 20, 24 99 this okay. one. Yeah. I think 24 99 is the right price for it. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. So, whilst I would wear it because it wouldn't embarrass me to wear it, but it's not afraid... A great fragrance for me is one that empowers me and makes me feel... Yes. You know, great, you know, confident and uh, assertive and... Um, and happy and gives me a spring in my step and I, this doesn't this is fine but it doesn't do that it's, a, it's it's an air freshener i think it's boring yeah i think it's again that linear with lots of aroma chemicals yeah i would have loved some really heavy incensey yeah patchouli. incensey or a bit of leather maybe leather. In, in there as well to darken it up for the Perfect. night yeah. it needs for me yeah. so the reason i got it is because it says night obsession night and obsession mm -hmm. night makes mm -hmm. me think of somebody in dark clothes gothic yeah. running around that sort of like the crow yes oh my yeah. god yes and i'm getting the crow wouldn't wear this though the crow would not wear this. What, I'm getting. What film star would wear this? Do you think? I don't know, but it's a little bitch fragrance. Little bitch <laughs> fragrances are when it's just when they're saying I'm this, but they're actually a little weak, little yeah. weak thing. And it's like an it's an eau toilette. It feels like an eau toilette. Yeah, yeah, it's an eau toilette. So it's yeah. really weak, but it's worth yeah. twenty. Little pounds. shower jelly, but shower yeah. yeah, it's like worth to it. This would be a great um, kind of fragrance for a young person, for 15, 16 year old, maybe first job, first job. Oh, it's it's perfect for your first job when you're 16, 17, yeah. 18, and you want something unoffensive, yeah. which you blend in for 20 pounds, yeah. but it's not a going out fragrance. It is not a no. dominant fragrance. It's no. not a night fragrance. No. I actually think it's really summery, personally. Yeah, I do. There's that fruitiness, yeah. yeah I don't think it's the um, night at all. So I'm gonna rate this. I'm gonna give this a five out of 10. Um, okay. It's not, um, oh, that's high for you, isn't it? Um, I think it's fine. It's somewhere in the middle. It's wearable without no. being embarrassing, but it's not exciting. No, I rated it a two. Okay, fine. My reasons are, I always have to give my reasons. My reasons are, it's very synthetic and very boring and yeah. very dull and it's not exciting me, not, yeah. not engaging with passion and it's all right. Okay, so a lot of these cheaper fragrances are, are gonna be, are gonna have that. I know we always use the synth no, no, synthetic. I rate it higher. No, 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 I'm yep. gonna go back on that. So personally, I rated a two. Professionally, I rated a five. So I'm gonna okay. go 4.5. 4.5, so yeah. I said five, you said 4.5, okay. I'm messing with your numbers again. Don't worry, no, it's all right. Oh, we've got a Porsche fragrance yes. here. Let's do it. Next one, so this is 14 pounds 99 pence. Let's get into it. All right. Um, Never smelled a Porsche fragrance. I know, right. Never smelled a Porsche. Can you know me? Well, there we go. I wonder if it smells like a Porsche. I, I doubt it. Is this um, not exciting? So it's Porsche, the mobile spray, intense. Yeah, this is very exciting. And this is an eau de toilette. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, a lot of car manufacturers come out with fragrances. We've got Bentley and Mercedes and okay. Jaguar. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I quite like that. I like that bottle. Yes, me too. I didn't what, expect that. What would you expect from Porsche in terms of design? I did not expect no, that. Me. I like it. Yes. 10 out of 10 for yes, design, yes, Porsche. Yes, it's different. That is cool. Yeah. I hope the spray is all right on yes. that. Because it's kind of like that funny yes. sprayer button. But let's try it out. But We like the packaging. We like the packaging. Yeah, we like the, we're not here we to like, packaging. We like the presentation. We do. I mean, we can take the packaging and we can take it into account. Yeah, but um, spray is good. Spray is good. We're all right. 
All right, so this has intense on the packaging. Let's right, see how intense okay, it whatever. Oh, that's that that does have a little punch, little pop. It's got a little pop. Is that something like um, heliotrope or uh, like a cherry almondy vibe? Maybe even a. Uh, yeah, I mean it's quite a synthetic fragrance, but it's very mass appealing, I would say, this one. So. But thin, not much to it, not much depth to it. This reminds me of a chemistry lab. There is no passion, mm. there is no drive, there is no love. This is, let's put out a fragrance and next sit down, what, let's have a look what the cheapest formulation is yeah. and let's market it in nice packaging. Yeah. This is like an 80s fragrance in it. It's like a brute. Like a uh, Lynx, like a... Yeah, like a... Well... I'd say a, a level up from those. Do you? Personally. I, yeah, I would say it's a little more interesting. Do you know what it reminds it's me fairly of? fairly smooth blend to it. Do you know what it reminds me of? Yeah. It reminds me of toilet cleaner, pine toilet cleaner, because they're using okay. a synthetic pine. Okay. To give that lift, to give that excitement. Yeah. And it's a bit piney and a yeah. bit woody and a bit trying to be, uh, it's, this is like, I am a Porsche fragrance, but I'm costing a pound. This yeah, is a Porsche it, on a budget yeah. for little. It doesn't, um, it doesn't fit with the not brand not of not Porsche. I don't like it, this at all. I'd say, and it doesn't f necessarily fit with. It's very light and airy at the end. So they've used that yeah. uh, ozonic. It's uplifting. It's got an uplifting feel. I'm not, I'm not saying that's necessarily a positive, well, I mean, not positive or negative, but it does have this airy, ozonic feel to it. So, how I feel, Chris, I feel this is nauseating chemical bullshit. Right. And I rate this a two because it just smells like a Roman chemicals, there's okay. no naturals, there's no passion, there's no drive, there's no beauty in it. Yeah. It just feels like uh, a rehashed 80s formulation in I really like the packaging. But yeah, it's not. It, it's something. I've, it feels like things I've smelled before. It's not. It's I know not what it smells a like. Unique scent. It smells like a car freshener. This is what a Porsche inside of a Porsche would smell like after you've been to the and had it cleaned. Oh, like one of those little yes. hanging down things off, off the rear like. view. It does. Yeah, it does have that to it. Yeah. I don't mind that fragrance. I do. I prefer it to. I prefer it. it's got more to it than Obsession Night, the Calvin Klein. That was to me. The session nice... one was less offensive and actually was okay. more palatable oh, right. and it was more, uh, it didn't dry my yeah. mouth and fill me with dread. And <laughs> It's not filling me with dread. I get a nice cherry tobacco little vibe with this one, I think. Yeah, I'm over um, it. And um, I, would, I would give this a six out of ten. Would you? Yeah. You're very generous, Chris. I mean, I don't think six out of ten is that, that Pine, generous, to be honest. Pine, air freshener mixed with a, a man. That that smells like a leathery car to me. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly the marketing, which is we, yeah. we're Porsche, we have leather seats, we want a car smell. But bottle, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. That is a really yeah. nice, sleek, uh, and that would just fit in a suitcase, wouldn't it? It's a little travel bottle. I don't think it's matte. Yeah, it looks, yeah, it's, matte, matte on the it's top. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Great, great but design. Unfortunately, more, more money gone into the design than the fragrance. I think on that one. In that shape. Mediocre, mediocre I, fragrance. Yeah. What did you? What I said? Five, uh, two. Five, six. You said two. Yeah. Barely. Okay. All right. Join the Scent Geeks every Monday as we podcast about all things fragrance. You'll find us anywhere you can usually find a podcast. Links are in the description below this video. See you there, geeks. Um, all right, let's see what's in the goodie bag next. We got. Oh, we got one more. We got one more. Okay. We've gone cars. Okay. We've gone cars again. Mercedes Benz VIP Club. Uh, RRP forty eight pounds down to pounds. the amazing price of sixteen ninety nine. Do it. Okay. Oh, this is this is different for. Do you know why? People are obviously nicking a lot of it. Yeah. Harder to break into the Mercedes um, packaging. Harder to. But we're in. We're in. So, what do you think? This is good. So, put yourself in the position of a marketing person. Yeah. You work for this brand. Mm -hmm. They've said to you as a perfumer. Yeah. It's VIP. It's mm. expensive. It's yeah. Mercedes Benz. Yeah. What do you feel that you would want this to smell like? Opulent. Opulent. Wealth. Expensive. Um, bold. Uh, yes. Assertive, yes. Uh, um, announces your arrival yes. into a room, and expensive. people are attracted. To, draws people in. Expensive, yes. expensive, middle-aged, yeah, uh, suit, 
a beautiful car, nice yep. house, young wife, divorced with children. That, yep. That's what I would feel that this would aim towards that sort of person. Yeah. Why, why, why divorce? What did he do wrong? Because they didn't do anything wrong. I just think he's got, I think he's going through a midlife crisis and he's uh -huh. got a young girlfriend. Okay. It's yeah, all that, that'll, that's how I sort of feel about that'll the, cause If a you divorce. look at the packaging, it yeah. looks very blingy. So, and look at the man on the back. See, it's so like... So the man on the back is um, actually Olivia Cresp. Right. And uh, he, he's the master perfumer behind right. this one. Let's see. Looking very, very pleased suave. with himself. Um, very suave. Very James Bond-like. Yes, so I'm expecting Again, that. Again, I think this is the way he's dressed is part of the marketing. Yes, I agree. Um, this is described as a vibrant, spicy fragrance, a unique signature that lasts for hours right. with the same intensity. Is it Edward Toilette? So that means it's linear. Uh, it's um, and a signature scent. Okay. When, it, when something's described as a signature, it makes me think it's going to be relatively safe. Is it Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum? Um, this one is an Eau de Toilette. Yeah. Mm. I'm over it already. Mm, preferred the Porsche design oh of it. It's, it's all right, it's different, isn't it? Very Mercedes, I suppose. <sighs> um, looks like a phaser from Star Trek. Doesn't it? I thought that, yeah, I thought that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. Weird, bit weird, but not bad. Like the little, the writing on the front. It's quite, quite nicely. It's all right. It's not get. It's not too garish. I don't. It's think. sort of where I'm thinking it's going. The design yeah. is a bit um, infinite lame. spicy. Right. I think it's just going to be a bit generic spicy. If okay. I'm honest. I but know. we will not form opinions until we have um, smelled it. Mm. A lot of uh, juice comes out on that spray. Yeah. Okay. Let it settle. Let hey, it settle. Here we go. Don't like spicy. it. I thought it was horrible. Oh, it's quite abrasive. It's really, I don't, I, Isn't don't it? It, I don't like abrasive, loud, screamy chemical sludge. And this to me is a chemical sludge. It's just yeah. this overload of uh, screaming. There's no, uh, this, yeah. this smells, this smells a little bit like, um, oh, what's it reminding me of? There's a, there's an accord here that's really reminding me. I've got an association. So you were smelling eugenol and eugenol is the cloves. You're smelling cloves Am I? coming through. If you think of a clove, that eugenol, that Christmas yeah. sort of thing coming through. There's a slight smell of chemically electrical burning type. That's, you know, did, as a kid, did mask. you have one of those pullback cars? Yes. And you pull it back, you know, loads of times. And when the wheels span, if you didn't let it go on the ground, if you just lifted it up and let the wheels spin, it would generate this kind that of is, rubbery, burny smell. That is the musk. There is a musk that smells of hot irons, ceramic, and that's there yeah. with the usual. The usual is giving that spice, yeah. that cloves. Think of cloves. I've got, I've got it. I've got exactly what the association of this is. When I was at school, yes. there was a craze for something called hopper poppers. Yeah, and they were little domed, malleable plastic that you turned inside out on your thumb, and you waited, and it, and it just up. popped off. Yeah. And I played with those so much when I was a kid. They were the rage at school. And that rubbery yeah. uh, smell of those this reminds is, me of this. So from a professional point of view, I can talk yeah. quite a lot about this. I don't know quite why they're talking quite a lot about this mm. when the other one was a bit blah. But this, I can smell the blend. It's very blended because all you're mm -hmm. smelling is the spice and a few things, but you're getting yeah. a, a sort of around, it's very hard. The top note's really horrible. It's got, it's, it's settled. The top note has, has, like has died off a little, but it's not yeah. as abrasive as it was yeah. on, the, on the first sniff. So maybe it was a bit of alcohol, I don't know. Um, so it's, it's sweet and spicy and safe. It's a bit Christmas pudding. It's a bit um, fake wood. It's a bit mm. fake wood, hard, ceramic. You there's, know, there's nothing that smells natural. There's about nothing at all, and I don't like it at all. That's why I. I no. But I'm trying to find. It's a bit weird, actually. It's a it bit of a weird. weird. It's not. It's not disgusting, but it's we, it's a weird smell. It's kind of like it's well, an what, air what freshener going smell. For? It's an air freshener smell. Maybe these this things, smells like the inside of a Mercedes. I, I don't know. I've never been in one. Hang on. Are you supposed to spray these in your on your car seats rather than on your skin? I hope not. No, says that to toilet. All oh, right. Okay. To, yeah. to me, these for smells. Oh, toilet for cars. I don't know. These smells like a car. These smell like that. They've got mm. that sort of, if you went to had your car valeted and the smell of the valeting mm. chemicals and the, the thing that they hang there, mm. you know, Christmas pudding thing, and they're mixed with all the solvents. It's really gross. Yeah. How disappointing. Yeah, that's a bit. 
overly... Yeah, a bit, a, bit rub, a bit of a funny rubbery smell mixed with the spices and a bit of sweetness. I don't like this at all. I think mm. this is the worst one. Yeah, I'm going to give that a four. A four? Actually. We've been yeah. generous. Um, on my, yeah, on my scale, it's maybe I'm a bit more generous. If You've I, got the chemistry background, which you're judging it from as well. I'm going to judge this from, from me. Yeah. If this was a master perfumer doing this, he did this on his lunch with one hand with an eye patch on, because this right. is no, this is like... Olivia Crest wasn't wearing an eye patch on the picture on the bottle, but... Yeah, so, no, I'm not. I'm just... Know, uh, who I, knows? Yeah. Maybe, they, maybe they blindfolded him just for fun. I don't know. I, it's I, not VIP. It isn't VIP. This is not the VIP. It's VIP not opulent. So. No. It's not beautiful. No. It's not a wealthy man. You want this to almost smell like royalty, where they, yes. you know, Mercedes-Benz VIP. Mm. I think the scope... Just maybe, make... maybe there isn't, because that's why they don't release them, but I think the scope for one of these luxury car brands to release it's a fragrance that... Opulent. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, you know... Um, you know, there's one. Should we add one more into this yes. while we're talking? Because we've done a couple of car brands. I want you to smell one. I want to say one thing about this. Yeah, sure. How I feel about this. Yeah. So you know, I'm very emotional, driven with when I smell stuff because mm -hmm. I want the best. When I smell stuff like this, this one actually makes me feel nauseous, and it's a proper gut wrenching, vomiting feel. And this ma makes me. If I was to smell this a lot, it makes my head hurt, makes mm. my eyes hurt, makes my soul hurt. Yeah. And it's just so chemical, vomit-inducing sludge mm. that I yeah. please that I'm leaving it here for you. Yes, thank you, <laughs> thank you for that. I will make Look good use that. out of it. Yes, <laughs> uh, right. So we, we're going to do one more. Okay. Uh, we're I'm now smelling you. Bentley for men intense. Oh, okay. Okay. Better. It's different, isn't it? It's like completely elevated and different. Yeah, it's uh, another level, that isn't it? Yes, totally. Yeah. Which is why it's in my collection. This, you have, you, your taste is really, I, I think. I think I've got a very wide, broad, I, I do gravitate towards gourmands. Yes, you do. Um, and woods. And, and yeah, deeper, and, darker fragrances. Yes, you do. So I could tell this was a sort of thing that you would like straight, straight away. It's like, yeah. it has opulence to it. You very like the so. same thing. You like the wood rounded with mm. uh, balsams, round with a little bit of tobacco round. Do it, I? Uh, yes, you do. You're really easy to understand yeah. because you um, you have a definite thing in okay. your head. So this to me has a lot more depth than those fragrances. It's beyond, like those to me yeah. are chemical. I I want this smell in that bottle. Yeah. Although. The presentation of that, hold, hold it in your hand and feel the cap, and yeah, I, th heavy, I think that is reflective of the brand of, yes, of I Bentley. I think good. it's nice. It's a good solid bottle. Packaging. So this is a little boozy. Yes. Yeah. Which you know I, like, I do like boozy, um, and I think I think there's some leather in here as well. It smells to me right. Mm. If I think of an expensive man getting in a, a new expensive car yeah. with an expensive wife who's had cosmetic surgery, yeah. with expensive children going to a private school, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, poodles in the back that have just been to the grooms, this is what I would think yeah. he would smell of. Poodles would love this scent. Do you know what's called the opulence and that roundness? Do you know what I think is giving the opulence? The incense. It's just lovely. It's got some incense it's wood, in it. It's, it's yeah. frankincense. It's the uh, frankincense coming down to sort of sandwood and cedarwood yeah. and balsams, and it's very nice. Yeah, yeah. How much is this? All right, so the prices we're looking at here, um, so natino.co.uk, £27.67. Wow. Okay, so... For a niche smelling fragrance, yeah. So, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to, for all your lovely viewers, Yeah who want to spend, who perhaps don't have hundreds of pounds to spend, but want to smell like they're smelling like a, a couple of hundred pounds, is to get this, because I think this yeah. is excellent. Yeah. Aaron Terrence Hughes approved. Yes, Don't for men intense. Absolutely. Yeah. Very, this, this was the first one out of everything yeah. where you've surprised me. And also, yeah. Chris, it gives me hope yeah. that there are companies that are putting well-crafted stuff that's yes. not expensive out there. And you should smell some of the other Bentleys as well because they, they've they got some more in this line. Uh, there's a darker one than this. Also Is it all great. about the same price? Yeah, I think so. Now, the interesting thing about Bentley is you can pick them up at discounters for pretty low, for under £30, but if you go into a department store at like... Um, Deppenham's Housefield. Harrods. Uh, I think, I think Harrods, um, but yeah, no higher end department stores, like I know that they stocked them in Phoenix, or they did last time I was in there, and they're selling them at full retail, wow. which is 
pushing 100 pounds, I think. Yeah. For 100 mil, but you, but you would not, you, you know, you would go into, into a store like that, you would smell it and you'd think that is worth it. If you didn't know that you could buy it for so cheap online. I do, so, I don't think it's worth 100 and I'll tell you why. Because I don't right. think it's got massive... I might be wrong on that. I know it's definitely a lot more okay. expensive than you find it online, but I think it's definitely getting up there on the price. Yeah. It hasn't got masses of longevity. It hasn't got masses of projection, which yeah. when you get above... <coughs> so when you get above £100, yeah. things should last, things should project, and things should imprint. Yeah. And that hasn't quite got that, but I think for £30... Yeah. Quid, you know what? It, I mean, it lasts well. It's not It's not a beast, but it lasts, it lasts okay. I think it's lovely. I love the booziness of this yeah, one. Yeah, I think yeah. it's lovely. There you go. Well, I'm glad I uh, introduced yes. it to a I am that you too. Really I'm su yeah. I am surprised. I was losing all hope. Well, that's my my present yeah. to you from not not the bottle because oh, I'm keeping bullshit. it. Yes. Um, but my present to you was uh, uh, introducing to uh, a scent that has surprised yes. you pleasantly. So which one did we like the best? Well, we like the Bentley yeah, best, didn't we? But yeah, out okay. of those, um, the Porsche one for me. Porsche I like best. Yeah. Uh, I like the Obsession one the best, right. only because it was about twenty quid, and it was. Sort of unoffensive. The other two, are yeah, but like a bit. Okay, weird. okay, yeah, fine, great. Well, yeah. slightly differing opinions, but that's the fun. That's what yeah. makes the world go round. There we go. Quick, different little video. I love that. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I realised that I've not really smelled with you on camera no. before like this, so I really fun. liked it. Let's yeah. do. We'll do more of these yes, these things. Yeah. Um, maybe maybe pick up some um, some even even cheaper, cheaper ones. Let's do it. Who knows? Yes. Uh, but thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for watching and if you've tried any of these fragrances let us know I know there's a lot of lovers out there for Bentley for Men Intense let us know if you have that and you enjoy it and uh, if you like this different style of uh, video with Aaron then uh, let me know because we'll do more of these if we get some positive comments thanks for watching everybody remember keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good